Today, you're gonna learn how to do this easy hologram effect in Final Cut Pro with absolutely no plugins required. But that's the easy part of this tutorial. The real value here is I'm gonna show you how to plan, set up, and shoot this entire sequence by yourself if you happen to be a one-man band like me. So let's get it in. Before we get started, I want to say a thank you, a big thank you to my loyal subscribers. I really appreciate the constant feedback that you give me. And I also want to say congratulations to my YouTube buddy, Pilot Chen, I really hope I pronounce that properly, for reaching the 1000 subscriber mark on this platform. It's a small but really significant milestone. And as always, if you're new here, consider subscribing because everything that I do on this channel is engineered to make you a better videographer or filmmaker every time you pick up your camera and press record. Now this hologram effect is going to be the easiest tutorial of 2020, I promise you. And it's super effective if you do it right. You can really get creative with it and put your own twist on it like I did with the transition to add a little bit of intrigue to the narrative instead of it just being a cool effect. The transition builds context and motivates the story so your viewers stay engaged all the way through. The first thing that you want to do is set the scene. This can be as simple as picking up your phone to check your social media accounts. You know, the things that we do every day. It doesn't have to be complicated, so don't overthink it. Next, you want to frame up the phone on the desk and walk into the shot. I decided to keep the attention on the phone and not show my face because I really wanted to create a little mystery. After that, pick up the phone, examine it a little maybe unlock it and then walk past the camera. Now the trick is to completely fill the frame when you walk by, so try to walk as closely to the camera as possible. The next shot will be pre-composed and we'll use the same concept and completely obscure the frame as we sit down into the shot. Now all we have to do is use any screen recorder and scroll through our device. In post, we tidy up the first part of the clip so it starts where you want it to. Then, cut the clips at the points where the frame is totally obscured. Placing a dissolve transition is totally optional depending on how you shot it. Now to the actual hologram effect part of the trick. The first thing that we want to do is identify a portion of the screen recording that matches my hand movements on camera. Change the blending mode. Now I usually use screen, but you can use whatever you want to suit the effect for you. The next thing you want to do is hit the transform button in the bottom left hand corner of the viewer window. Resize it and reposition it over the phone so that it looks as if it's interacting with the device in your hand. What you want to do is click the down arrow next to the transform button, go all the way down to distort and you're basically going to turn the hologram in a way so that it looks like you're looking at the image on screen so it's not so flat. After you've done that, go over to the effects browser, drop a shape mask on the screen recording and shape it the way that you want it to be shaped. So now that you have the hologram where you want it on screen over the phone, the next thing you're gonna do is click the transform button again and keyframe the hologram as you walk out of the shot. Another thing that you can do to make this hologram effect look a little bit more realistic is to scale the hologram up as you walk near the camera so it looks a little bit more lifelike. Now as we move on to the second part of the trick, the principle is basically the same. You find a portion of the clip that matches your hand movements and because this time you can actually see the phone on screen you have to try and find that same portion in the screen recording or else it's not going to make sense. You won't be able to sell the effect. Now if you go back to the first part of this trick when I picked the phone up off of the desk, 
you notice the hologram seem to pop up from the phone. To do that effect, all we have to do is after we have resized and repositioned and change the blending mode, we want to highlight the screen recording clip. Then we want to click the transform tool and then keyframe the hologram to pop up out of the phone. The way we do that is to scrub forward in the timeline where you would want the hologram to pop up. You don't want it to be too far down. You don't want it to be too close to the beginning of the clip. Once you've done that, set a keyframe for position and scale. Then go back to the beginning of the clip and then drag the hologram down into the phone and bring the scale all the way down to zero. And when you play it back, you get that pop-up effect. Now, just to break up the pattern a little bit and to showcase some angles, I wanted to make it seem as if I was looking at myself through the hologram. So I just got the reverse angle of me sitting at the desk. And this is just something that I recorded in a previous video. And all I did was pretend as if I was looking into a space where a hologram would be. So all you do is change the blending mode, resize it, and it just appears as if you're looking at yourself through the hologram. It's a pretty cool effect. So for the last part of this hologram trick, the principle remains the same as I said. You resize, reposition, change the blending mode of the hologram and keyframe the hologram above the phone. There are two ways of doing this. You can just simply keyframe it by moving the position or you can actually anchor the hologram to the phone, which makes it look a little bit more realistic because when you anchor it to the phone or the device, anytime you move the phone, the hologram will move exactly the way you move the phone. So to do that, right click the screen recording or the hologram clip, select compound clip. Once you've done that, you wanna go over to the anchor option in the transform tab over in the inspector window and you want to take this little round button and position it on your phone where you want the hologram to be anchored now i chose the notch in the phone because it was a pretty easy thing to see you can zoom in and pick a point now you'll notice once you've anchored the hologram to that portion of your phone the hologram is somewhere off screen so to bring it back on screen and position it over the phone or device, you're gonna have to use the X and Y values to do that. Once you've brought it back to the position where you want it to be, all you have to do is, again, scrub through the clip and keyframe the hologram to the phone. And there you go. You've completed the hologram effect in Final Cut Pro 10 with no plugins required. looks pretty sweet to me. This hologram effect is a complicated looking trick that you simplified in a matter of minutes. You did it. If you're impressed by your work, share this video with your friends. Spank that like button and do subscribe if you haven't already done it at the beginning of the video. For more content just like this, check out these videos in the meantime. And as always, I'll see you in the next tutorial.